Good evening. Welcome to another edition of the Fogo Live Halloween version. <laughs> All right, so as you can probably tell, this is our Halloween extravaganza spectacular. Spooky. So, <laughs> um, you know, the one thing that goes along with Halloween real well is sweet treats. So that's what we're gonna make. We are going to make ghost s'mores on the grill. All right, it's gonna be a layer of chocolate. We're gonna use our cast iron for this, maybe all kinds of manly stuff. <laughs> so um, it's gonna be really fun. It's, it's a great treat. We get everybody just dips around in their, in their graham crackers and scoops it right out of the tray there. Everybody loves a s'more. I remember growing up and going camping and, and just sitting around a campfire eating s'mores and uh, I couldn't get enough of them. You know, of course, that would probably explain this a little bit, right? Yeah. But anyway, um, we're gonna get started here. This is gonna be so much fun. It's a really simple, really simple thing to do. And uh, I think that you and your family will love it. So here we go. And of course, any good recipe starts with Fogo Premium Charcoal. We all know that. So we're gonna fill this baby up pretty nicely. We wanna get a nice steady fire. We're gonna cook this about 425 degrees or so. So we wanna get it nice and filled up. There we go. We put our Fogo starters in and we'll get going here. All right, our fire is burning nicely. So we're gonna get the grill ready for indirect grilling. So we're gonna put our deflector in and the green egg is called the convector. All right, put our trusty dusty grate in here. Okay, I'm gonna close her down. We're gonna let her get a temperature at 425 degrees for this. I want those marshmallows to get nice and gooey, get that chocolate melting on the bottom. <laughs> Yummy tasty treats coming up. So assembling this is really easy. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a half a cup of heavy cream. All right, it's gotta be heavy cream, but we don't wanna put it in super cold. So we're gonna heat it a little bit first. All right, get as much as we can out of there. Just gonna stick it on the grill there and heat that up. The rest of it's really simple, all right? This is a, uh, what, how many big is this? Uh, I don't know, a double bag, of, a double bag of chocolate chips. Just pour them right in the bottom of your cast iron. Okay, level it out. Nice, even layer, super simple. I could eat them just like this. I just wanna eat chips. It's like that. Anyway, so once this is heated up a little bit, we're gonna take the, the heavy cream, pour it over this, we're gonna cover it in marshmallows. I'm gonna put little eyes on them so it looks like little ghosts, and um, we're gonna have some fun with this. Ooh, let's check on our milk. Oh boy, okay. So the one thing you wanna have when you do this, you wanna make sure that fire is burning nice and clean already, okay? You don't want all the smoky milk, uh, half and half, uh, what am I using? Heavy cream, all right? So we're just gonna pour this all around. Okay, good, good, good. And then all we have to do now is layer it with some marshmallows. All right, I got these big ones. A great thing to use if you could find them is uh, marshmallow peeps. They look like little ghosts then, they're pretty cool. So uh, we're gonna put them in all different shapes and sizes here. I wanna have a little bit different things going on. And make them, I don't want one big even size, you know what I mean? So we're gonna angle some, put some straight up. This'll be cool, so cool. It's gonna be so spooky for Halloween. There we go. There's our marshmallows. Pretty cool, right? Wanna see? Can y'all see? All right, good, good. All right, we are up to temperature. We're at 425 degrees. We're gonna throw these babies on here. Let them melt away and break out the graham crackers. Ooh. Sorry, <laughs> I love being goofy. Anyway. We're gonna let these melt for a little bit and uh, gonna go grab the grab crackers. So I'm sure that the family's gonna wanna dig into these with me here. So um, we'll be right back. All right, I'm so excited. These things are ready to come off. Wait till you see them. Exert. The marshmallows expanded. They're huge, aren't they? Genuine. This is my mystery guest. It's not my daughter, Caitlin. Oh my God. Oh, they're overflowing. Holy mackerel. Oh boy. We got a marshmallow. Oh boy, that's gonna make some mess. Woo wee. Look at that. Yeah, baby. So if you want to be like really cutesy cutesy, you can take these and put little mini chocolate chips on them as like uh, eyes. You can help out if you want. Oh, thank you. Like little ghost eyes or something. Ooh, they're sticky already, aren't they? Oh yeah. Oh boy. Malfunction on aisle two. Is this aisle two or aisle three? 
Aisle six. Aisle six. I can tell you this, we're gonna let these cool for a minute before we dive into them, man. It's like a swimming pool of marshmallow liquid. You can wipe it off, it's okay. Did you just really throw it up in the air? I didn't think so. All right, in any case, um, so if you want to, maybe add the chocolate eyes a little bit before it's done, okay? Um, this is gonna be something really good. We got it all over our mitt. Man, we got this stuff everywhere. Marshmallow makes mess. Yeah, we're gonna let that burn off. You ready to dig in? Oh yeah. You might as well just eat that right out of your hand. Don't put them back in there. One for you. So, when I eat my s'mores, I have a little secret weapon. I love peanut butter. I love peanut butter on my s'mores. So, I take it. There's crackers right there. All right, put a little peanut butter on there, because why not? If it's not fattening, I don't like it. You can try that if you want to. Now, you can dig in right with your cracker like that, or just pop in like this. It's really liquidy. I don't think the bottom melted enough. Oh yeah, there we go. Woo, do it over it. All right, I need a little more marshmallow. These marshmallows really expanded. There we go. Careful, that's hot. Cooked on the big green egg. Halloween treats, Halloween s'mores, can the cast iron. Oh man. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> can you tell she's my daughter? Mm -hmm. That um peanut butter is plenty sticky too, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Hold that. Hooray, <laughs> mm. right, that is delicious. That is a fun little snack you can make with the family. Um, enjoy it all together, sit around. Once it sets up a little more, just dig your graham cracker right in. Best things to do, you know, we're on video, so we're trying to get it to go um, a little faster, but let it sit, let it set up. Um, it'll be a lot more solid than it is right now. It's really liquidy, but it's delicious. I mean, it's really good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't tell. Normally you can't shut her up. Now she's just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So anyway, listen, I hope that you and your family have a very super safe, happy Halloween. I know it's a weird year this year with this whole pandemic going on, so just be safe. Um, it's the one, you know, the one holiday where you can actually wear a mask and won't look weird this year. I didn't even think of that, right? Pretty cool. So enjoy. Have a happy Halloween. Hit subscribe on the channel. Hit like. Okay, follow us. Um, leave us a comment. Tell us what you're dressing up as for Halloween. All right. And um, enjoy. I hope you make these s'mores. We're going to sit down and enjoy them right now. We're probably going to eat the whole tray. I, I, I think that's safe to say. Anyway, thanks so much. We'll see you again next week on The Fogo Life.